there's three types of reburn systems too that we can focus on. One is going to be an oxygen reburn system. So we'll have oxygen tubes up above the fireplace that's dumping oxygen into the firebox and reburning. Have you ever seen like a solo smokeless stove and you see that fire coming out of those oxygen ports on the top? Same exact principle, but that's in a wood stove. The second option, and this is probably the biggest misconception, everyone thinks that you don't want a catalytic combustor. So see this catalytic combustor here? This is the most efficient way to burn a wood stove is with a catalytic combustor. So a lot of people shy away from them, but in reality, this is what you want. This is the most efficient way to burn a wood stove. Most people falsely shy away from them because they think they have to replace them all the time and they are expensive. And the truth is they are expensive. They can be four to $500. But the reason why they go bad is people simply don't maintain their stove. Regardless of what stove you buy, you gotta get your chimney swept yearly. At the time you get it swept, that's when you're gonna wanna have your catalytic combustor professionally clean. People try to clean it themselves and there's precious metals in there. So they'll actually scrape those precious metals off making it useless, you take it out. Now you have a really inefficient stove, you don't pay to replace it, and now your stove's a piece of junk. If you just maintain it, it's the best way to heat with, is with a catalytic combustor. A third option is a hybrid between the two. So some brands will use oxygen reburn tubes and a catalytic combustor in combination with each other. So those are your three ways that you can focus on efficiency and reburn. That being said, I don't think you need to spend a lot of time on it because everything is so stinking efficient.